Math is hard and I hate it. Does that sound like you? Well, it's probably because you haven't practiced how to deal with percents and decimals as much as you should be. So let me go and help you out on this problem here. I know how tough of an issue it is, but it's absolutely doable if you follow this plan. So first things first, this is gonna be a problem about simple interest. You've probably been able to notice that because, well, the words simple interest are there. So with that said, let me show you how to solve this. And if you like what I do in this video, go ahead and comment what you learned. That way we can keep making videos for free for everybody involved. Let's get to it. So first things first, we're gonna read the question to understand the goal first. You know, don't get, don't get distracted by the shiny words or anything you might recognize. Just stick to the basics. What am I looking for? Right here. How much did Daniel initially invest in the account? So we, we know that we are talking about simple interest, again, for the reason being that it says simple interest right there. Now, what we know is that there is a formula for simple interest. Let me go ahead and remind you what it is. That formula is going to be this. The interest that you earn is equal to PRT. So that is your principal investment multiplied by your rate, multiplied by the amount of time that you spend. I know it's shorthanded principal, but there it is. Interest equals principal times rate times time, or hey, I equals PRT. You might've heard that before, but knowing how to use this formula is gonna make everything so much easier. Pay attention here, pay attention and write down what you need to. So the interest, we're, we're looking for again, the principal, how much money we've initially invested, that is your principal right there. So I know that's what I'm looking for. Now, what else am I given? Well, check this out. My interest, excuse me there, the interest is right here. Daniel saw a gain of $13,750. There's my interest. That's how much money you earned from investing. Next, can we spot how much time or rate? Well, we see the rate here is 2.5% per year. And then the time that we see is 25 years. So we have everything we need to solve this problem. And I know that a lot of us are able to get to that point in terms of understanding what you're looking for and potentially the setup, but then a lot of people get really, really, really hung up on the actual calculation. So let me help you out with that, my part of people, I got you. So here we go. So the interest that we earned is again, $13,750. And then up next, the principal is what we're looking for, how much money we initially invested. So I'll leave that as P. And then our rate is gonna be 2.5%. And don't forget to turn that into a decimal. Again, if we're gonna be including it in terms of a formula, 2.5%, turn that into a decimal. We take the decimal and go one, two. So it's gonna be 0 0.025. And the time that we're investing for is again, 25 years. And there we have it. So now what we need to do is simply solve this equation over here for P. And again, it's gonna get a lot of people uh, rustled up because I definitely understand how confusing dealing with decimals might feel, but let me go ahead and walk you through step-by-step. Step. I got you. And at the end of the video, again, if you liked what I do, just leave a comment for us. Let us know what you learned. That way more people can learn just like you. Here we go. So when I'm dealing with this, what I notice is that, well, I could go ahead and just multiply these things together and then divide it all out. You're perfectly well within your right to do that. But one thing that I did notice, one thing that I noticed is that, hey, 25 is actually a pretty convenient number to divide by. It makes things a little easier. So the first thing I'm gonna do personally is gonna be to divide that 25 out. I'm gonna divide that 25 out. So when I do that, that's gonna cancel out right here on the right side. I'm gonna be left with P times 0 0.025. I know that's still gonna be a problem I gotta deal with. But over here, this might be a little easy for me to go ahead and go through. So right here, 25 into 13,750. I should be able to do this pretty quickly. 25 doesn't go into one or 13, but it does go into 137. We know that 25 times four is 100, times five would be 125. So I know that it goes in there five times, take away the 125, and now I have 12 left over. The five comes down and look at that again. 125, we know that's gonna be five, we're good. And so then boom, and then so you have that last zero there, so it's 550. Sweet, so we have 550 equals P times 0 
And so now the last step is going to be to divide both sides by 0 0.025. And this is where I'm going to show you how to deal with decimals when you're dividing. Whenever you're dividing by a decimal, whenever you're dividing by a decimal, my party people, it's actually going to be pretty straightforward. What you can do is you can actually say, hey, I don't want to deal with a decimal or dividing by a decimal. So I'm going to move one, two, three. That will get rid of the decimal completely. But we're not really allowed to do that in math. Remember, when it comes to fractions, right here, when it comes to fractions, whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. And so here's the simple trick. The simple trick you can do, let me move this all the way over. The simple trick you can do is do the same thing to both sides. So since I move this again, one, two, three times, I'll take this and I'll go one, two, three. Sweet. So what does that mean? It means that this crazy decimal division is actually pretty straightforward because now we have 55, 0, 0, 0, 0 divided by 25. I hope you can agree that this is a little easier on the eyes than divided by a decimal. And now that we know that, let's get to work. Watch this. So here we go. I'll go ahead and do the long division up here. I'm going to do 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. 25 goes into 5 zero times, but 55, it goes in there twice. Subtract 50, and you have 5, bring down the 0. That's twice again. And then we're going to have 1, 2, 3 zeros, 1, 2, 3. And that is it right there. The principal investment was $22,000. And I know that seems like a lot, right? I know that seems like a lot of work to do, but it's really just a play off of the formula. Hey, your interest equals your principal times your rate times your time. Plug things in where they belong. Figure that out quickly. And you can do that by practicing the basics over and over and over again. So shout out to the people that are in my full program or the trial. Either way, remember that you want to start with the math basics. The math basics is going to make everything so much easier for you for the simple reason being that you're going to learn how to master every type of number so you don't blank out and freak out on word problems, especially during test time. So do yourself that favor, put yourself in a position to succeed and make sure that you're ready to ace the ASVAB with me. Boom, 22 grand right there, that is the answer and you're all set. And like I said, if you're not in the trial, you can go ahead and sign up for the trial nice and easy by scanning that QR code up there, going to that link over there. And then after, make sure to text me at 567-698-8867. That way you can introduce yourself and I know exactly how to help you moving forward. I'm Coach Anderson and I'll see you in the next video.